Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here, and today we'll be playing Red Dead Redemption on Instant Replay. Um, opening cutscene here, so I'm just probably going to let it fly by a little bit. Won't talk too much over it. I don't think there's too much dialogue in this part, though, so... Water looks good. It has been a while since I've played this game. I think it's 2010? I gotta search for that real quick, actually. Make sure I know what I'm talking about. That was my phone, if you heard that. That would be it falling. Rockstar Games presents. Red Dead Redemption. that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. <laughs> Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> it's gonna say, grade A writing in this game. I do remember that. Not We will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate. John's. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but okay. this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Let's say apparently money can't buy manners. Remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. 
Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo, here we go. Shit's about to get real. All right, go to the saloon. Okay, real quick, I just want to go over what uh, what instant replay is. Basically, since games like this on the last generation are, I would not def wouldn't consider them retro. You shouldn't either. They're not retro. Um, I'm using it as the term instant replay because I'm going back to the last generation to play them, basically. And uh, that is what the series for games like that will be called. Um, so things like Dead Space, Nino Kuni, anything on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, basically, will uh, take place on the um on the instant replay episodes all right let's go over to the saloon and move on with the story and i was right by the way it is 2010 when this game came out <laughs> that guy grabbed her boob to push her Pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Uh, I am playing on my Xbox One. I just bought it from the store when it came out on the backwards compatibility. I had it on PS3, but uh, I don't anymore. I now also haven't, haven't played my PS3 in a while. Alright, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, look at that lighting, though. God. Rockstar is just a tier above everyone else. been kind of cool to have like a little side house or something where you could panhandle gold Scumbag! Scumbag alert! I don't remember that, Jake. Yeah! Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right! <laughs> Shut down. You said you didn't want to gossip, yet that's all you're doing, so I don't know. Sending me mixed you signals here, homie. Talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing <laughs> the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Man, Marston's a badass. I love this kind of character in games. What a waste of good meat. Whoa, whoa. Just over this hill. 
it's like the, uh, it's like Geralt in The Witcher 3, you know, they're both just kind of, eh, we don't give a shit, we're badasses and we know it, I love, I love characters like that, they're the funniest. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> See a scumbag, Jake. Thanks for leading me. Oh. All right, can't can't run, got to walk. The dramatic, you know, entrance scene with the light coming over from dusk. Slowly approaching the fort where my old friend, now enemy, awaits me. Let's see if we can't talk him down. Although I'm sure we all know the how this one ends. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. Well, the shoe fits. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. Never mind, I guess we like him. <laughs> Okay. Do I look like I need saving? Two scumbags in the first ten minutes. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. You should get a scumbag counter. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Okay. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore you. I, I implore you. To go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Mm. Mm -mm. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. I see that I have a golden gun. That must be part of the DLC that I got. I think there's a way to turn that off, and I'm going to. I don't like the look of the golden guns in this game. How to turn off golden guns. Okay. It's a button sequence. But I'm pretty sure I need to be out of a cutscene for it to work, so... We'll wait. Anyways. What's this lady's name again? Going to the farmstead. Bonnie, I think it is. New friends, old problems. That's how it works. Just because you get new friends doesn't mean you don't get rid of your old problems. Unless your new friends got money. In which case, you know. Even though they say, more money, more problems. That's eh, not always the case. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. <laughs> so, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? She's got some sass. Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. 
It cost us fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just <laughs> like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Good advice, Bonnie. You seem smart. Alright, let's uh let's do something about these golden guns real quick, and then we'll we'll go join Bonnie for a ride. The guy. Hold all for the for the five seconds. Right bumper, left bumper, D pad left, B and Y. Okay. Watch that just pull out a gun and shoot that lady. Oh man, please don't. One, two. Three, four, five, six. There it is. Well, All right. Hello. hello. Oh, there's a store here, isn't there? Ah, I doubt I have any money. No sense in really looking. What's the inventory? Select. Cool. Ooh, warhorse. Should I use it? I'm gonna use it. You already own that. A horse of that type. Save the deed for another time. Oh, really? Okay. Somehow I doubt I own a war horse. The game's not just going to give me one. Or maybe I can't own a horse yet because I haven't, uh... I haven't done the second mission. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. See, fifteen dollars would really be cheap to get like a bullet removed. I feel like these days, because I don't imagine it could be like over a thousand dollars, you know. And to get a bullet removed, like in America at least, I gotta imagine it's pretty expensive. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Stock fine horse for you. Thanks. It's my on, war horse. Time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Alrighty. Company Bonnie. <laughs> Do horses have stat? Uh, I don't I don't remember them having stat bars. I just remember you could buy like more expensive ones. Can I just hold A? I can. Rockstar knew, they knew. The Oops. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very General convenient. store. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Hardware, tobacco, dry goods, and liquor. But uh, anyways, Rockstar knew this was a very scenic game, giving you the opportunity to see everything. I like and that. Here's the corral. Respect it. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. <laughs> Still giving me shit. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Oh, we're speeding Bringing up. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Mm, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Although the 
the train cart probably makes things better for a lot more people than just you. That's Never mind. barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Great. Oh. This horse has got some and speed. Here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. Miss McFarlane. Well, are we going inside? She's already inviting me inside. Marston, you dog. You're a married man. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. You can sit for a while, huh? A long Mr. while. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Thanks. Come, let's head out. The I appreciate the rifle. It around this time. Bonnie's got sass and she's giving me a rifle and a horse. I'm liking her more and more. I guess to be fair, the horse was mine because I have the deed, but still. The rifle's really nice. Howdy. God, look at that cowboy. Hey, the golden guns came back on. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. God dang it. Do I have to turn it off for each gun? That'll suck. I think I remember it. One, Thank two, you, three, four, five, six. I feel a lot happier now. I got think I got it? Maybe I shouldn't do it on a horse. Sounds like a plan, Bonnie. I'll just deal with it for now. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Yes. Come on. Where they at? Oh. Yeah. Woo! Get him! Get him! Uh 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 uh. Thumper's down. Can I skin him? Ah, uh, they don't let me skin yet. That sucks. That's some free money right there. Is it gold? It is. All right, let's do it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I saw, I saw it change. Yeah, there we go. Bonnie's glitched. Now we're good. Whoa! I was walking on my horse for a second. All right, lead the way. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Already. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Troll. John's getting him back. Okay, I'm coming, I'm going. Whoa, whoa. Ha! Oh no! I'm stuck! Oh no! Please! I can't. Come on, horse! Ah! Ah! Yeah, red eye or dead eye. Oh, right in the back. Where's that other one? Uh uh, uh uh. Where's it going? Where's it going? Come on, war horse. Where? Oh, he escaped. But I'm taking him down either way. He's dead, but we lost a chicken. Sorry, Bonnie. This horse just got too much speed. Did 
She's not even gonna say anything to me. She's really upset. Wow. You, sir, are nothing but a disappointment. That's what she's thinking. Get back to your shack. Well, I go back to my manor. Here we are. Cool. You get separated from your horse, it'll return to the hitching post outside your house. Okay. Good to know. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kinda happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Not quite as upset as I thought then. Oh, blacksmith, I saw it over there. Sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. You'll wake up six hours later. Pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Cool. Current dead eye level one of three. Let's go ahead and get some bullets while we're here. Oh yeah, you can change outfits. I like the outfits in this game because they actually, like you earn them, they were difficult to earn, some of them were easy. Um, but when you earn them, they actually gave you different things. Not all of them did, but some of them do like increased dead eye uh, restoration and then like I think some gave you discounts. Some of them made you better at blackjack, I think. There was a bunch of different ones. I liked them. I like when uh, doing collectibles and doing challenges and stuff actually reward you in games. You know, like they should. Come on, easy up now. You just stay there for a second. Obstacles in our path. Uh, this might be a race. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. <laughs> well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me. Reticence? That it's simply out of respect for you. Of course. An educated course. cowboy. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk <laughs> are impressed. Like the animations. I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Challenge accepted. I got a war horse. Your little pinto or whatever the fuck it is. Can't keep up with me. On, Guess it could be... I, I'm technically cheating because I have the DLC horse. Watch this horse not even be that fast. Uh, see, when you say on the count of three, I think you're going to count up to three. So you kind of cheated. It's all good. Let's do this. Now, uh, I don't mean to brag, but... See ya. I kind of, like, whipped the shit out of, like, Ocarina of Time's, uh, Epina challenges, you know? So, I'm kind of like a horse riding expert. Oh, I remember this part. 
Yeah, you gotta slow up or you go up that mountain and everything goes bad. I remember that. Are you saving the best for last? Ooh. You keep talking that shit, Marston. I'll I worry about riding. To regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. She's keeping up pretty good, though. What are you doing back there? It's crazy how good this game handles, like, the horses handle, like, fan-freaking-tastic. And then there's a game like The Witcher 3, which is a fantastic game. I love The Witcher 3, but god damn, Roach sucks. <laughs> like me to slow down? Doing races with Roach were terrible. Let's go. Woo, come on, come on. I was getting a little worried about my stamina there. Oh, there's a deer. No time, no time. Oh, god, why? Come on. Too fast. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got back on course. That was, that was just a minor detour. Shit, why'd I pull my gun out? I'm gonna scare Bonnie. Is that the best you can do? Oh, I gotta get some stamina. Uh -uh. Yeah. I'm glad I don't actually have to go through these checkpoints because I am totally whiffing on that part. I do need to stay on the friggin' road. Look at how fast that stamina comes back. This is a good horse. Yeah. There's some timing or something to it, like every two, three seconds if you tap A or X. Well, A on the Xbox controller. Tap the sprint button. You could do it like almost perfectly. Get a little bit of regen. Yeah, there it was. Kind of watching the regen bar. Come on. Yeah. Gotta be getting close. There it is, there it is. Later. <laughs> That'd have sucked to get bucked off right at the last second though. That was fun. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Oh, you're smoking. Shame. Shame. Then again, the newspaper earlier did say health benefits from smoking. You've been deceived, Marston. Marshall Johnson is available to talk to. Nice. Pretty sure this mission takes you to Armadillo anyways, so we might as well just go there. This is Armadillo, USA. Yep, oh, it does. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I can do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the I really like he can Mr. chuckle Marston. at those, too. I think something that's overrated in games is relationships between characters and Rockstar, Naughty Dog and Rockstar are the top of the list for You're sure. What is dead? Food a couple days ago. I have you to thank Hold on. That, Mr. Marston, what's wrong? I need for these chicken time, feathers. Have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. Whipping these what horses. You? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, <laughs> don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Bonnie's well spoken too. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. Nice. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Excuse me, boys. Ooh, that almost ran right into me. Fuck, this thing is slow compared to my horse. Whoops. Is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't 
think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern <laughs> for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. And a lot of people out. The way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Hello, mister. Don't go waking snakes. We gotta remember that one. See if we can use it somewhere down the line. It's a good quote. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up a great plane. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Whoa! I've only been at it three years or so. I wanna hear this. I'm kinda new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? <laughs> Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fellow laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Got a farm, all right. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Bonnie's got some money too. Jeez. Do, do, do. Let's get us some opium. Hello there. Hello. Electronic belts? Oh my god, I remember the ads for those stupid things. Oh, people will buy anything. Go see Bunny. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, Miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Yeah, yeah. Travel safely, Miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Uh, uh, f fair enough. <laughs> if they arrest me for it, I'd I'm getting some Hell on Wheels vibes. From Marston especially. Honor plus 50. Um, can I look at my money? Don't know how much I have, but I assume it's zero at the moment. Well, let's go check the marshal while we're here. We'll we'll finish Bonnie's shit first, but uh, we'll we'll talk to Marshall, Marshall Johnson. Howdy. Political realities in Armadillo. Excuse me. <laughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's. I did. Really <laughs> so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of them Williamson boys? Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. 
Oh, no. Zing! Put your gun down. Marshall's a badass. I remember. He's badass. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here He's to dual capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. <laughs> all right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Ah, the Wild West. Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Looks like we're about to have a friggin' showdown. Got my hand on the trigger figure. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to fucking pull it out. Pop, 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 pop. Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents, prey on the state coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. His name is Walton. It's kind of a bitch name. Turn the music down just a tad real quick. See? Marshall's getting a little quiet there compared to the background music. As long as it's alive, your horse will come anytime you whistle for it. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I love that shit. You can just hop right on. Man, the horse. Horse animations in this game. As bad as you say Marshall! We just beef him now Whoa. We got the Whoa! Something's going on. The Marshall's supposed to be going with me, I think. Oh, there he is. He's catching up. Uh, okay. This way, I guess? Marshall, you're following me now. Yeah. Maybe? Go, horse. Marshall has glitched out. Look at him over there on the radar. It's all good. I'll handle it. I can still keep up. It's hoping for some conversation, though. I don't know what went wrong. I must have hit him or something with my horse. Uh oh. 
Nice. Warhorse can do that stuff. You can just climb up those. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Don't buck me off, homie. What are you doing back there, Marshall? <laughs> Return to Marshall Johnson. I'm gonna fail because fucking Johnson glitched out. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Whew. Good. That was a little sketchy. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> All right, time to clip some fools, right? Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Hey, yeah, you over here, Marston. I got you covered. Move up to that wagon, Marston. Take that bastard behind the crate. Boom! Oh, headshot though. What's up? I definitely got hit for it though. Ooh, he's not dead. Oh shit! Ooh, I might have clipped him in the eye. I got him. Nice. Right in the friggin' mouth. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Huh. Who's left? You're about to go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you. Damn! Walton has a bounty item. Take him alive, and you'll make money. You'll lose honor if you kill him. It is Red Dead Redemption. Time for a revolver shot. Oh, I want to shoot him in the dick so bad, but I don't know if that'll kill him or not. See ya! Oh yeah, looting bodies, that's right. Give me some paper real quick. Four dollars. Nine dollars, I got some money. Hey. What's up, Wally? Trial in the rope, damn, Marshall straight up. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshall. Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, <laughs> Mr. Marston. Now look at him. He's still glitching out, going down rocks and everything. He don't... <laughs> Marshall don't know what's going on anymore. He's a drunk. $20. All right, I'll take it. But you, you got anything? 75 fame. I don't think that was from the body. We got. Ooh, $37. Hello. That was a pretty good haul. Oh, we still got one more body. With repeater ammo. It's all good. Um, $5 as well. There's an armadillo. Okay, so I can fast travel back, and then that's telling me I can search bodies. Since I'm in the desert, I'm gonna do, go ahead and do a little bit of exploration. I'm pretty sure there's like hunting challenges. Oh wait, there's a there's an X there. Did my horse run the armadillo over? No, that's a body. Never mind. Three dollars. Okay, seventy nine bucks made just right there. We can pay Bonnie back. What are they shooting at? What was that? Coyotes, or dogs. Coyote! Nope. There's one down. No problem, bro. I actually totally did that for myself, but you know, you can... You can think it was for you. Oh, that's right. This is the problem with the game, the skinning animation. You can't skip it. Took a little while, but you needed it for materials. You needed it to sell. You needed it to get challenges done. That's not my horse. Uh, you know, you can give Far Cry Prime all the shit you want for being like repetitive and all that, but it, it was good for that because you could turn the search animations off. That, that's a very. I hope we see more of that going forward in crafting games. 
All right, let's uh, let's just stick to the road. See if we find anybody. Or maybe we should go into the desert. That's a wild horse. I'm not a monster. I'm not gonna kill a freaking wild horse for no reason. Oh, hello. I gotta remember to break my horse. Not break. Slow down. It's not a freaking car. Wild fever fuel. What do we got? Ah, survivalist challenge unlocked. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for the white flowers. There's a bird. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really see much. We'll go through here. Come on. Come on. This is pretty much empty. Wow. George's Gap. Well, where does George's Gap lead? To people running on horses. Train station. Damn, that deer can take a beating. Took three bullets. Thought I heard a dog. I'm pretty sure... Well, yeah, you're skinning an animal. Of course it's going to stink a little. Pretty sure back in uh, Armadillo I can pay for uh, increased ammo. So that would be nice. I think it's like 100, maybe a little more. It would be a nice thing to have. Howdy, fellas. Wild horses. Lots of wild horses. Let's go check the price on that. But we don't want to stay on the road. We want to see if we can find any flowers. And oh, look at that right there. That's what I wanted. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So I don't really remember if there was crafting in this game or if it was just collecting the stuff for challenges. I think it was just collecting shit for challenges. Oh, I hear gunshots. Down this way. I'm going this way. Here they are. Save the treasure hunter. Boom. Boom. Is that it? Very grateful. Bait. What you got, buddy? Yeah. Thanks for the treasure map, homie. How do I look at that? Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay. That's helpful. Horse pills. What? They're like steroids for my horses? My poor war steed, he's gonna be jacked. Whoa. See anything else out in the wilderness or anything? I don't see any dogs. Let's go. Alright. Back into town. Five finger fillet. Oh, that's. It's the knife game. Whoa. I couldn't tell if that was gunshots. No, it's just my horse. Alright, I want to get back to Bonnie's farm. 
But first, I want to check to see if they, uh, how much the, oh, hello, fever few. I want to check what's in the store really quick. And then I'll just, uh, I'm getting fast travel there now. Boom. Someone's horse is freaking out. Not my chair, not my problem. That's what I say. Really? Can't go through there? Use wanted? Oh, you can do bounty hunters now. Yes. That's some money, but we're not going to get too caught up in that business. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Listen, man. You don't want that, yeah. Just because you led a long life don't mean it can't come to a short end. Don't forget that. What's up, homie? 125, and I've only got 83. Ooh, wolf pelt. That's worth 10. Wolf meat worth 8. We won't be able to make it. Fuck, we're not going to be able to. Don't you take credit or something, dude? Like, I'm good for it, I swear. Just ask Bonnie. That's all I got for you right now. Remember to return. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, return, I know. There's a question mark. I think that's like... Strangers or something like that. I want to check what that is really quick. Like side quests almost. Strangers found throughout the world are in need of assistance. Okay. Don't talk to Marshall. I'm going to talk to you. Hello. They took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them people uh. in Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Go search for the boy by the hanging rock. Okay. Let's go. Where's the hanging rock? I think it's over here. It has been a while since I've played this, but I swear, so I've got such a good memory when it comes to games. Like, when I see things, I'm like, there's something over there. I know there is, and I think that's it. It's either that, or it's the treasure marker spot. That's a deer. It's a buck. Dead eye. Later. I made it painless for you, dude. Yeah, well, you know, if we could skip the freaking animation, we would. But we need that bandolo bandolier, bandolodier, or whatever the fuck it is. Buck antlers. Ooh, I didn't know you get those, too. Oh, no, not a skin, though? Yeah. Oh, and a skin. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. The hanging rock. This is what they're talking about. There's wild fever few. get this really quick there we go. now that I'm here I'm I'm sure that's where the treasure is also it's behind or above I can't really remember but it's here whoa what the fuck made that noise I think here it is yeah yeah, yeah. treasure complete Come on, Marston, open that shit. Perhaps there is a god. Wow. Gold bar. And I think another treasure map. Rhodes Gold. There we go. We can afford some shit for sure now. Now, I want to say the kid was up in the hill a little bit more. Oh. 
Oh, I really don't remember this part, though. I don't see anybody. And I don't hear anything. We're gonna go ahead and explore a little bit. Oh, wait, here we go. Um... Here we go. Little kid, you around? Oh, that's right. This one does not have a happy ending. I remember being kind of shocked at that when I first got here. I was like, wow. And then, like, that was when I knew this game... This game is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit dark. American Appetites. I think they're trying to imply that he was eaten. But I got a gold bar out of it, so, you know. I'm sure the mother's not going to be satisfied with that, but... Let's go back report to her. And we will save it. Damn, we're moving fast on the friggin' roads. I hear some shooting. Look at these two. What's the deal here? Wait a minute, hold up. What's going on here? Do you need help, buddy? Like, who's the good guy here? I think they're the good guys. I don't know. I don't want to get involved because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm just going to go back home. That lady not here? No, she's not. Wow. I guess she knew. Or doesn't want to know, or led me out there to be killed. I don't know. Alright, let's go find a campsite. Right off into the wilderness, basically. Plop down to camp. Can't do it too close to the road. That was one of my pet peeves about the game. Too close to a road. Can't put a campsite down. Alright, let's save up real quick. Alright, that'll uh, that'll put an end to the first first uh, episode of instant replay red dead redemption um these episodes are going to be a little bit longer just because red dead is such a long game it's, uh, i'm not going to cut it up into 20 minute segments every time it'll be between an hour maybe a little longer maybe a little less depending on what's going on in the day and everything um i don't know how often i'll be putting them out i do like this game so i'm going to try and put a put out a couple a week at least but um we will see first one should be up here it'll either be Sunday or Monday for you guys. So it'll be soon. And then I'll try and have another one up by Wednesday if possible. Um, anyways, hit that subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment, check the links below. Um, join us on discord. We talk all sorts of shit about different games on there. And uh, I like to hear you guys' feedback. It's the best way to get it to me besides a comment. So thanks for stopping in and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.